A lot of people are sick now. Uh, either they have the bad colds or they got the allergies or it's a combination because of the weather that we've been having. Dr. Robert Aitches. Aitches. You know, I, I, every time I say it, I feel Itches. like I'm sneezing. All right. Dr. Oh, Robert Aitches over from Cedar sinai He's an allergist. is with us, Dr. Aitches. Aitches. Okay. Um, <laughs> Not itches. Like Not itches. many other people here, I had a really bad cold the last 10. And usually I don't, you know, I'm kind of macho, you know, I got the good immune system. No, I don't. Is part of this the weather changes and what's in the air as well? Yeah, what people have colds during the winter. And the reason why is that you have too much contact with other people who are indoors also. Because you're indoors, I'm indoors, I shake your hand and bang. You've got my virus. Now, if you say you have allergies, you go like that. You touch your, your hand, had the virus. And now it's now in your body. Also, during cold weather, the air is drier. When the air is drier, viruses live more likely. So you have more viral exposure, more problems related to that. So in other words, that. if you're a social isolate, you're better off, you're better off just uh, staying away from people. The first two days. The first two days are the most likely time when you could spread it. Mm -hmm. Now, you may have had the flu versus a cold. There's a difference. Well, no fever, no aching, no... You had a cold. Yeah. I take it back. You mm -hmm. had a cold. So what do you do? Do you just load up on all the vitamin C or take uh, any one of these other little uh, over-the-counter remedies? And like we Sometimes we do... Um, what's that? Uh, emergency stuff. We do that emergency. a lot. Emergency. Emergency. Yeah. There's a, you know, people take zinc. They use echinacea. They use vitamin C. Eh, eh, I don't know if they're really that good. Over-the-counter stuff, decongestants are often helpful because they'll reduce congestion. But they don't shorten the duration. They just make you feel a little better. Well, no. They, they change the cold. Instead of lasting seven days, it lasts one week. Wait one week. Okay. <laughs> That's cheap, doctor. I just... Okay, sorry. I apologize. All right. <laughs> but uh, you can also use cough suppressants that, that have dextromethorphan, so you're less likely to spread it to someone else because mm -hmm. if you... Uh, if you cough, that's actually how you transmit the virus. You know, people too. get almost religious, doctor, about what you know. I always, I take Zycam for three minutes, and I'm better in 12 hours. I take garlic and echinacea, and it always works for me. Well, it works for me when you take garlic. But uh, <laughs> so, is that Who knows how is much that garlic I take. is that medically sound when Dorothy says that, or is it, it works for somewhat me. of a placebo effect? Is, what, what is it? Well, this? wait, wait. How often do you have to take that? Because maybe you're not really having colds. Maybe you're having allergies that are lasting, uh, say, six or ten hours. So you think I you're think, having a cold, but you're not. Maybe I'm allergic to Steve, but I, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, I heard one, one doctor say years ago, you have a cold, there's nothing we can do. If it right. turns, Sometimes it, a cold if it turns into cold. pneumonia, we can treat you. Well, that, you know, it's, it's important not to use a lot of antibiotics. People use antibiotics, and they think they're getting better, but a virus doesn't respond to an antibiotic, so it's not so good. I wish Jill was here to hear that. Because you, you take that for the, for the cold, but not for the flu. For a cold, you can take, no, you don't, well, like the, the Z-Pack or whatever no, that is. That's only for the flu. if, for the if, flu. if yeah. you get secondary infections. Yeah. That's yeah. where it comes Like if you have play. a mucosal infection. Yeah, you know, say, so, yeah. Yeah. say yeah. you're a kid. A kid, yeah. you get an ear infection. You mm -hmm. need an antibiotic. Mm -hmm. Or adults, if they have a sinusitis with nice, milky, yellow, green that, mucus. That and that's enjoy your oatmeal, everyone. Do you believe in the probiotic? Take a little acidophilus I do after the antibiotic? After the antibiotic, because your your gut flora gets changed. You know, if you're taking an antibiotic to treat your nose, actually the most of the medicine gets in your stomach, so you change your stomach flora, and a probiotic would make your stomach flora better again. All right. So, so it does make yogurt. sense. All right. I hope yogurt not. is another way. Yeah. And keep, wa and keep washing your hands over and over again. Yeah, yeah. or use yeah. that stuff like Purell. Use it yeah. a lot. Okay. And when you touch doorknobs, or rather. Say elevators, press with yeah. your knuckle. See, don't Howard Mandel got it right. You yeah. know, you just don't touch. First time I saw Dr. I just he said, we got to take a picture of you because that's, you know, oh, you're my doctor? swollen eyes. Oh, yes. Of is Lisa going to live? No comment. Okay, no comment. Right. <laughs> hey, Dr. I just, uh, is Lisa going to live? <laughs> oh, she's going to live. You're terrific. Thank you for that information. Thank, Thank you, you very much. All right. Steve.